Weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Corlash knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Bones and evil! That is the stench which Minsk sniffs. Well, here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. Okay, I've had a few problems over the last couple of hours trying to get OBS to record on my laptop. Apparently that's a thing that it doesn't like to do anymore. Um, and the makers of OBS are basically hand-waving that one away. Fingers crossed I've got it sorted out now though. With a bit of luck this is recording. If it isn't, well, hurrah. Anyway, so finished off last week the, or Tuesday or whenever it was, um, the Shadow Run. So here we are back in Faerun. And here is Imoen. Um, yeah, so we are the same characters as before. The very opening was the remi a quick recap of our crushing defeat over Saravok. And we've got this little person here. So I think it's Safana. Now, unfortunately, for a lot of this game, pretty much all of it in fact, Imowen is, well, not available to us because she is going to be training herself up as a wizard to get ready for her role in Baldur's Gate 2, in which she is already a wizard. And this bit here is effectively the game telling you 
no, you've got to find some other thief. Which is a great shame because Emmowen is a pretty good character, even if she's annoying as hell. But this is the intro to Dragon Siege of Dragon Spear, so we shall continue. So Emmowen has just talked to us about this, and so what do we know of our prey? I'd have an easier time of it if you came with me, Emmowen. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't matter, you're not coming with us, it says the game, but we'd like it. I really want to. I wouldn't be much help, though. Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, she's had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. Yeah, not 100% certain on this, but uh, I think it should be Duchess. But uh, being as that is the female name for the Duke, but it might just be like a Senator. In Baldur's Gate, just a honorary title. Unfortunately, probably best to do, as Janeth says, tell me what we know of those we hunt. Dinahair. They possess evil hearts if they followed Seravok. Their loss will not be a great one. It's a great shame we've lost her voice. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Seravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. We oui, will you be joining me? After she's already just said, no, she's not. Want to, but won't. My head's so muddled with spells right now, I can barely get my boots on. I'd only cause problems for you down here. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. There's a healer here too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Time more is shine on you. Not that you'll need it. Okay, so first off, let's see. I think we should have... What's this? Oh, this is a key ring. So this is uh, for keys, much like the potion bag is for potions, etc, etc. So, let's first of all just get myself reacquainted with me. All our weaponry is what we had on when we were fighting Seravok. that. Yeah. Now, the thing that this game does is it sucks out all of your gold, so it's best to buy things rapidly. Anything basically, as long as it's not okay. So she's only got a ninjago and some crappy leather armor. Okay, right. So, what can we give to you? What can we give to me first? Can I, I can't really afford anything there. I'll give you some arrows. What have we got? Do we don't really have a do we have a short bow for her? We don't. We got nothing. We can give her these. Um what is she skilled in? She's got Crappy skills. Um, customize script is going to have to be standard ranged. Um, proficiencies dart and scimitar were cash below there. Okay. Do I have any of those? 
in magical form. An ornate bastard sword. No ninja to there. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing here. Yeah, I think a lot of these things which I had already identified. Are no longer going to be identified. What's this? That's just a bullet plus one. Should look at that. Okay. Yeah, we don't really have much for you, I'm afraid, dear. here, a few things there. Let's get you leveled up first though. So we want her to be available on short bow and probably short sword. Now we want your open locks to be at about 110. Find traps the same. And then. See, I don't really know. You set traps is, was good for the first game, and we're not going to be using you for the last game. I mean, I've already... No. Uh, let's bump these up to 40 each. And then everything else in set traps. Done. Okay, so she's up to level 10 now. If you can handle a short sword, that's a bastard sword. Yeah, yeah I'm afraid dear, it's not so good. But you can you can hold some arrows. Which we need. You to do. you can probably carry a bunch more. Um, carry the wand as well. Actually, if you can't use the shield, medium shield plus one. Um, yeah, we carry that, give you some space, carry that, give you some space, yeah, Ooh, what's this, studded leather armor plus one, you can do that, can't be equipped to this, Drop that because that's wasted space now. Um, use a wand? No, you can't use any wands. Of course not. Why would you? Armor class five. What's this? Armor class six. Okay, well, you can carry it at least anyway. Okay, well, you don't. There's not a lot you've got going for you, I'm afraid. Yeah, not a lot you've got going for you. But I can put 
those up there. Sorry, this is the game of inventory reorganizing after a huge battle. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we've got some slots. A few slots now. And let's pop those up here. Let's give you a few of those. Right. Okay. So. Right. It's in the bag. Let's talk to the, to the mercenary. Flaming Fist Healer, may the Morning Lord watch over you, my lady. How may I be of service? Do you have any advice on dealing with the undead? Undead, lesser undead are mindless creatures who blindly follow the Master's orders. Cold magic and poison won't hurt them, but spells that are based on fire usually work well. Tell me about skeletal undead. Skeletal undead are more common than any of the living would like. They're dangerous, but their physicality makes them somewhat easier to deal with than other dead foes. Sword, spears, and arrows do little against them. Forsake slashing or piercing weapons, but for a hammer on mace, anything with a flat edge to return them to their graves. Cadaverous undead. Cadaverous undead include ghouls, zombies, and whites. Stay out of their reach. They're usually slow but horrifically strong. The touch drains the life out of the victims, i.e. level drains. Their attacks often spread to leaves of corporalysis. I can offer some potions and scrolls that can help alleviate or prevent these effects. Show me what you have. I can provide healing as well. We've got the coin. Okay, so... Let's buy all the big potions we can. Let's You have my greetings, faithful one. Buy um What does this do? Prevents feeble mind. Chaotic commands is usually good. We can use that. Only I can use it and her. save and head out. You're too late. It's already gone. What are you talking about? Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... I've come for callers. If she surrenders, I'll see to it both of you are treated fairly by the flaming fist. I'm more be with you then. If you're fool enough to cross cause la call us, you'll need all the luck you can get. And dialogue. And off they go. And we shall go in here and... Hmm. What's this? Who are you? Three drops of lemon balm oil. <laughs> A half pinch of powdered silver. Who are you? What are you doing in a tomb full of traps and mercenaries? Oh, pardon. I didn't hear you come in. I'm conducting an experiment. Tell me about this experiment. Oh, I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Just now their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. If you happen to come across cobalt moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. Their leader, would that be Callas? I believe that is her name, yes. 
believe it, either you know or you don't. Your presence here grows more and more suspicious. As long as you're only here for alchemical component, for your alchemical component, I have no quarrel with you. I'll see if I can bring some to you. Oh, thank you. Do come back if you find any. Anything in here to look at? That's quick save. You want me? Yes, Only dear. in the most used of always. What's this? This is a book of pointlessness. Save and detect traps first. Excellent. So we've got a gym, a gym bag, a gem bag here as well now. Orders from Corlaz. Let's copy the note. Let's read it anyway. Podios, gather all your spare equipment in the supply room. We depart in two days. Since we put Seravok's sword on the ship to El Catla... Ooh, where's that, I wonder? A suspiciously high number of people have been become aware have become aware of this location. We must move quickly before the Flaming Fist arrives. If fortune smiles upon us, we'll be in Zezza's spur within the week. So we've got the gem bag now. And just a crappy protection scroll. Yeah. Okay. I just don't feel any any linkage with um Now what? If you're sure that's what you want. With this character. None whatsoever. Sweetheart, whatever you like. It's, it's literally like, oh, so it's like a chest now, and those are collection things. Interesting. Okay, let's uncover that. So, doesn't look like there's any traps. And a skull. Scroll. And she can have a potion of invisibility because she is, let's be fair, a thief. No. Let's quick save and try this out. Uh huh. Mm, yes, dear. <laughs> Well, it's a lot of, um, what's the term? Resistive damage. Can I help you? Whatever you like. How badly is it hurt? It's injured. Will you stop attacking? You, like. you need something? That's me. Yes. Resistive. If you're sure that's what you want, nature servant awaits. Aye. For the fun! Hey there. Okay, you need Whatever to Whatever you like. That. Okay. So, well, that's a bit easy. Perhaps. Such creatures of evil must be destroyed. Oh, you can speak, albeit in a 
similarly accented, but sadly, very, very different voice. Okay, so. You want me? Let's get you Whatever back up you here. Like. Let's see. This is a crappy axe. Nothing in there. Let's put the skull back. Just cause. And let's you keep need something? If you're sure that's what you want. Back on the bow. I need yes. you back on the bow. Uh huh. And you. Yes. Yep, you're oh, back oh, on the sling. Excellent. No, no, no. I need everybody need together. It's there in the bag. Go. This is me. I'm here. Sure Why is... Right. You want boo? Okay. You've attacked. You have fraud. Not me? Yeah, you. Definitely you. Ah! You, card. since... Really? You're going after the mage? Seems so it's just a little bit unnecessary. Okay, ah yes, let's turn on the quick lit button. What's this? Just an ordinary shield. Got some arrows. Keep watch and a short for ancient bow. tombs or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Lost arcana. That can probably go in a scroll case. Excellent. Back away. Oops. Back away and you might survive this. Lay down your arms and no wish to hurt you. Zeravok paid us well for our service, but he's dead now and I'm in no rush to join him. Everyone, lay down your arms. I saw you yelling at earlier, you learned you lie. I saw you earlier yelling at me across the chasm. You mentioned the sword you thought I was looking for. What sword? Zeravok's sword. We stole the blade from the Ducal Palace, but you killed the man. I thought you might claim it as your own. Why did you steal it? Everyone steals for a reason, even if it's just the thrill. Call has ordered us to. She had a buyer offer a ton of money for it. Enough to smuggle us all out of the city. That's all I know. Very well, flaming fist awaits outside. Present yourselves to them for a rest. We shall do as you say. Here, take this key. You'll need it to get into the crypt's lower level with it. Where call as abides. This group shows promise. Okay, Extraordinary. So key which we can put on the key ring. And a cloak which might that will do cast a level plus one. Huh. Well, Take it, and uh, so Fana, you can have that. The closer to cloak of displacement. Okay, so all right, plus two is now identifiable. Everything's identifiable now. Awesome. So can you identify this? You can not. Let's get that identify scroll out. 
Sort of bell around, which technically I should know already. But for no good reason, I don't. Since you are available to do all of the arrows now. Apparently, except that one. Fair enough. Anything around. There's a door there and a door there. Let's go in here. A lot of good stuff in here. Okay, let's get the oil of speed in there. Let's hand out the arrows to whoever needs arrows. Primarily you. And then you can identify these for me. Crossovers there. There's biting. There's biting, I do. Magic. It's all about getting these things down. Okay, so mm -hmm. up. Yes, dear. Do your work, young wench. Sorry about this, everybody. I am going to be uh, stopping inventory sorting the game soon enough. Okay, so that's just a basic. Let's give those to you and you and you. Everybody's now got standard basic weaponry now. Hmm. Your need. Right. And yeah. This one will probably be armor. No, just a slightly different weaponry. Oops. Let's move across to here. Okay. So is there anything in there that needs to be taken? Okay, so this is basic armor and helmets. Everybody has those. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully it's recorded. Uh, we shall see. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I know it's, it's a bit of a slightly boring opening sort of half. We've only really done a tiny bit of the map. Well, actually, we've done a large amount of the map. Haha. -ha. But, uh, yeah, we've got back into the swing of things. I feel at home here in, in Baldur's Gate. Okay. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.